The nutmeg species of trees belongs to the Meristica genus. The botanical name of the commercially most significant species is Meristica fragans, an evergreen tree indigenous to the Moluccas or Spice Islands of Indonesia. Nutmeg yields two different spices from the fruit. One is the actual inner kernel of the fruit and the other the red net-like layer around it which consists of a leathery, thin tissue called aril, or mace, situated between the kernel and the pulp. After sun-drying to develop its distinctive flavor, the outer fruit layer is removed and the pit or kernel is separated. Mace is also often distilled separately from the nutmeg kernel and yields a similar essential oil. The evergreen nutmeg tree can reach a height of about 20 meters, and has dark green leaves. It is a dioecious plant, which means that its white male and female blossoms appear on separate trees. They start carrying fruits after eight years, bringing the highest yields at around 15 to 20 years of age. The essential oil is obtained by steam distillation of the ground nutmeg kernel. It can contain about 10% of essential oil which is probably one of the highest amounts of yield of spice essential oils. And it is highly aromatic, which is one of the reasons why it is in strong demand in the perfumery and pharma industry. For instance, as a component in cough syrups or toothpastes. Nutmeg provides also a fat oil known under the name nutmeg butter because of its butter-like consistency. In Europe, the healing properties of nutmeg seem to have been long forgotten. Whereas in Asia, it is very popular as a remedy against weakness of liver and gallbladder, for example, and also in case of sleeplessness. Already Hildegard von Bingen praised nutmeg's calming and heart-strengthening effects and its increase of mental focus, a reason why she used nutmeg in her recipe of nerve cookies, which was the name, which contain also cinnamon and clove. Ayurvedic medicine too appreciates the soothing effects of nutmeg as a spice due to its balancing effect on the Samana Vata dosha in the human body, which is linked to the digestive system. Ayurveda also mentions nutmeg as remedy to help against headaches, fever and against bad breath. Nutmeg has also positive influences on rheumatic diseases and skin problems. According to historical reports, already the Byzantine doctor Simon Said wrote that the fruit of nutmeg is beneficial for the stomach, the liver and the heart if used moderately. In Arabian writings, one can find nutmeg spice mentioned for digestive problems and also as an aphrodisiac. Looking at the spice from the historical viewpoint, probably nutmeg came to Europe by the Arabs via the spice trades with Venice first being the major customer and trader. Nutmeg became quickly very popular and expensive. In the 16th century, it was called the gold of India. The British, Spanish, Portuguese and Dutch were fighting intensely with one another on the nutmeg trade. And finally, the Dutch received the monopoly by exchanging with the British the island of Manhattan against the small island of Rune, in the East Indian archipelago. During the second half of the 16th century, nutmeg was said to be the only effective medicine against the plague, an effect supported by the fact that it has clear antibacterial properties. Consequently, the prices increased immensely. In the early 19th century, the English managed to transplant some nutmeg trees to their own colonial holdings, especially to Zanzibar and Grenada, the national flag of Grenada shows a split open nutmeg fruit. Indonesia and Grenada today are the main producers, followed by India, Malaysia, Papua New Guinea, Sri Lanka and some other Caribbean islands. Nutmeg, even as a spice, can be considered as a drug if taken in excess. One half to one nutmeg can be enough to create psychic effects and if overdosed, can lead to hypersensitivity, nausea and other complaints. This is mainly caused by the presence of compounds called phenyl propanoids. Nutmeg contains meristicine, elemicine, safrol and eugenol. 
Nutmeg is often mentioned to help against seizures, convulsions, and epilepsy. This effect is totally dose-dependent. To summarize the main properties, nutmeg oil is analgesic and pain-relieving on the muscles, digestive stimulant, amenagogue, it regulates menstruation and promotes childbirth, antiseptic and antiparasitic, antiromatic, aphrodisiac, nervous toner and tranquilizer, also good for insomnia, as already said, good for weak liver and gallbladder. All in all, we can say that the nutmeg and its essential oil, we find another example of a powerful and versatile combination of compounds, of effects, of energies, which are more than enough to trigger our admiration and curiosity for nature's creativity in terms of time-tested medicinal plant evolution. Or may it be that a spice has something to do with spicing up our existence, our own creativity, our own energies? We have to ask ourselves, why was the Western culture so fascinated when the spice trade with the Southeast Asian countries started with pepper, clove, nutmeg, etc.? It is true, there was the hot sun lacking in most of the Western countries, and the element of sun has a lot to do with the spice plant group. And this hot sun was now made available and imported, so to say, thanks to these spices, which dramatically changed also the Western cuisine and maybe the cultural habits and behaviors also of many people. Another thought also, not mixed connection via the phenyl propanoids with the Akashic, ethereal or astral planes give us something to reflect. When the plant has strong ethereal compounds, Rudolf Steiner, father of anthroposophy, already remarked, it tries to reconnect through this with a higher evolutionary order. In the case of the vegetal kingdom, it tries to connect particularly first with the animal kingdom. And we can ask in the case of humans, we can deduce that even a medicine mainly just used for the digestive tract can be more than just that. An inner intuitive logic pulls us towards looking at that area where true healing has its root, namely the subtle layers of our psychophysiological buildup. And our guts are more than just guts. We know this today. From guts to brain goes the song, or does it go from brain to guts, back and forth? Anyway, anyhow, we have to dance to the music of the subtle and the gross. And often, what seems gross hides the subtle behind, of course. Nutmeg has it. This pleasantly warming and invigorating spice triggers that inner fire, that inner light in us, which can help us in some mysterious ways to reconnect or straighten certain loosened threads within the network of our body-mind. Mystica fragrance? I would nearly say mystica fragrance.